So good morning and welcome to our Friday, April 17th. We are into this one full week. So think about that. Take, take that in, breathe that in. We've been together only one week and how nice it is for a lot of us that have been every single day and consistent, starting to really feel and sink into that rhythm. And for any of you guys that this may be your first workout or second workout, just kind of breathe into the support that you have as you look at the screen. And I know it's so much easier for us to connect visually through our eyes. But if you can, go ahead and close your eyes and feel into the energy of the group that we have here. On the call this morning, there's over 20 or is that 16? I don't know. I don't have my glasses today. There's a large group of us. And so just feel into each other the support that each of you brings to the group. And allow yourself to receive the energy that everyone is sharing with each other. We worked on breath work on Wednesday, so start to connect deeply with that breath. And we're gonna talk about our theme today, which is acceptance. Where in you, your life would you uh, like more acceptance? It might be more acceptance for the situation that all of us are in, our social distancing challenges. You might need more acceptance for not being in personal contact with your regular routine. Some of us might work on a journey of more acceptance towards you know, family members that we're in close quarters with, more acceptance for a different opinions, different emotions. You might want to tune in to more acceptance for yourself and what you're having to hold and carry, what different emotions are coming up. Breathe in and explore Explore where you may want to open to this acceptance. One of the things I want to remind you is you don't just decide, oh, poof, I'm going to accept, and it's a done deal. It's actually a journey. It's a journey that you're going to get to take today through movement, through different thoughts, through your body as you journey through. And one of the things that, that can be helpful is to allow a lot of truth to come up, a lot of truth of emotions underneath and kind of tune in to that resistance of why you're not accepting. And these emotions that are gonna bubble up through the movement, you're gonna allow them to surface, allow them to open, allow them to release. Because I suspect we have a lot of uh, resistance because underneath it, we're just scared. We're fearful. Or we're angry. Some of us are really sad. There's a lot of grief. And we can't really get to acceptance because we have emotions of sadness and grief. So I invite you to, to open up, to befriend your body, to befriend, befriend any emotions that maybe you're not comfortable with normally, and have a conscious journey as you go into acceptance today. All right, start on your hands and knees, and you'll begin to move. 
intuitively with breath and allowance, allowing for whatever needs to surface. Use the vibration of the music to encourage you to go deeper. Using the breath for cat cow. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you round. Transitioning into down dog. Having some movement, some pedaling of the feet. Drop down to your knees, inhale and sweep the arms up. Coming into goal post, big exhale, and then release back into tabletop movement, cat cow, here we go, drop and round. Hopping up into down dog, pedal the feet, dropping down, inhale, and open. One more time through on your own. Do what feels good. Start to work your way up to standing. Take your time being very gentle with the body. Nice deep breaths in. Just kind of rock the hips side to side. Whatever your body is calling for, go ahead and let that happen. We're gonna start marching in place. And then lift the knees a little higher, and then we're going to start to swing open and tap the knees. You know the routine. Here we go. Tap the heels. Open up the hips. 
Big exhale. Tap in the back. Stretching out those hip flexors. Quads. Last two, last one, and open up. Ah, take a lean back. Here we go, windmill. Tap, open, tap, open. Find your pace. Last four. Back up to the beginning, knees. A little bit of a hop in your step. Tap heels. Breathe in deep and then let it go. We're going to do the workout where we extend the arms out in a V, a low V, a high V, some bicycle abs today. So normally we've been doing three rounds of the Tabata, but today we have an opportunity to do four. So remember at any time during this workout, you need to rest. You just rest, catch your breath, and then come right back into the work. You may be resting more than you're working, and that's totally fine, right? You just catch your breath, and then you come back and you go at it 100% till you're fatigued, and then you rest. All right, here we go. Let's get our timer going. Start with the weights or no weights. Bring your elbows in. You can extend out and in for five, four. Squeeze the elbows behind you. Three, two, one more, and then we're gonna go up to a high V. So high, and then pull it in. Use your back. Out and in. Three and pull. Four, and pull, and pull, back to low, and pull, two, three, and we're going to go on to the next exercise, so shake it out, come into a low V, and this one you extend with a twist, and then pull again, add a little bit of a injured left arm, so I'm going to do a out of weight on that side, so you're going to do five, low V with a twist, Right here, and then you're going to come in high V with a twist. Pull it in. Two. 
hard as you can. Right here, we have 10 seconds left. Breathe, what is that resistance that you have? Can you move and breathe through it? Let it go. All right, come on down to your back for bicycle abs.
I'd love to see those legs bicycling. You got it, Amber, Morgan. All right, coming up to your feet. We have our up change. One squat, one jump. Two squats, two jumps. Here we go, three. You got it. Looks good there. Nice, Marnie. All right, last 20 seconds. Reach out, touch space.
Walk it out. Take a breath, shake out your body. Grab some water. Let your heart rate come down. And then just come in. So give me a thumbs up if you're doing good. Nice, Jenny S. Good. Barbara, I know some of you guys are in chat and I'm not seeing you on the screen. Just say yes or thumbs up. I can see that Karen Fraser, middle 10. Kelly, you good? Nice, Sandra. Nice, good, Cherie. Yep, Barbara's got thumbs up. Jennifer Indies is good. Nice, usually when we're in person, right? We can check in. Look at each other's eyes. So this is a little bit different. Opening up to something new. Settling in. We're gonna come up to the back of your mat standing. And do a little cool down. Start your hands at the heart. Inhale as you sweep up. Exhale as you dive it forward. Forward, 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 let the love flood you. Just look around, you got people who love you. People who love you. People who love you. Just look around, you got people who love you. Trouble shows up on the now. And we need our family now. Come on it now, safe and sound. This is our house. If the rain starts coming down. Oh, just dance among the crowd. Let it fly, let it fly. Let the love fall down. Oh, when we fall to our knees, oh, we just begging for relief. So clear your mind, open your eyes, it'll be a jubilee. You can stay right here or bend let the love fall over the house. Just look around, you got people who love you. People who love you. side and start to go deeper into our meditative state. Inhale as you sweep. 
exhale the heart. Tuning in to what you wanted to open and journey towards. Inhale as you lift the left knee. Stepping it forward, 45 degrees with the back heel, extending the arms, gazes up the fingers, melting into more opening, more acceptance. Releasing the underlying emotions, which often keep you stuck. And, and, and then reach back and fly. Here we go, open. Allowing, breathing. Here we go, inhale as you rise. Exhale as you reach back, let go. Inhale, rise, open. Exhale, let go. Try again, that's all we can do is keep journeying. Exhale and keep trying. Last one, inhale and warrior two. Warrior two for new yoga people. Front knee is bent, toe faces forward. Back heel is at 45, back leg is straight. Arms are horizontal so they don't drop and they don't rise up, they're horizontal. This leg is a little wiggly because the strength that you need to bend and go deep can be intense. Here we go, flip the front hand, inhale. Tilt it back, exhale. Inhale to warrior two. Flip, exhale. Stretch this side of your body, let it open. All the way down into that hip. Here we go, inhale. And exhale. Windmill the arms to your knee, spin the back heel, step it forward and shake out the body. You'll start to work your way to a seated meditation as we get ready to close out the practice today. Go ahead and get yourself comfortable. Lifted spine, chest open, drop the back of the hands on the knees. Gently close the eyes, allow a calming breath to come in and celebrate the work that you just did. Allow a smile to come up on your face. Tune in to everything that opened for you, right? All of our hormones, the blood is pumped with a lot of oxygen. Can you feel that? Take a minute to breathe and feel what's going on inside of your body. As you think about acceptance and the process, the journey that you'll continue on today and throughout your life, you're gonna journey more in a conscious awareness about what's underneath your resistance. And a lot of it is emotion. So exploring, not being afraid to feel them, to process, to move them. Acceptance is a lot about letting go and stepping into something new. So be very compassionate as you continue your journey. I 
thought this was really beautiful. This quote from Martin Luther King. It says, love is the only force capable of turning an enemy into a friend. And I thought as I was laying out this theme for today, this love force is really the only thing capable of changing you from resistance into acceptance. So be very loving and let that love energy come in with so much kindness and gentleness as you process through. What I want you to do as you sit in the meditation through the song today is feel the energy of everyone on the call today. There's a whole handful of them who are on the recording. I want you to feel the love and support from the group, from me, from you, your spirit, your God, your energy, your animals. Let yourself practice receiving love and know that you're never, ever, ever alone. Enjoy. When the night has come Start to take a really deep breath in, hold up at the top, suspend the breath.
Keep holding, relax your shoulders, hold for five. And then let it go. And gently flutter open the eyes. Just take a minute to let your body just calm and come back onto the call back into the group, but be gentle, take your time. Beautiful work today, you guys. So just notice what's happening in your body. Accept whatever is happening, whatever is not happening, and trust that something bigger and deeper shifted inside of you. Even if your ego, your mind, your thoughts can't figure it out, don't try to figure it out. Just breathe, enjoy, and keep endeavoring to do more opening of the heart and more accepting to whatever it is that was your burning desire to move through today. Ah, so good to see your peaceful, happy faces. And we're gonna shut off the recording and say goodbye. But if anyone wants to stay after and chat a little bit, um, I'll keep the call open um, just for another uh, 10 minutes before my next class. All right, beautifuls, I love you. Have a great weekend.